Be my guest. I've come all the way down to Chinatown in New York. I'm at an amazing restaurant called Dimes. My purpose, vegetarian cuisine. My guest, the amazing boy George, an icon, and of course, a vegetarian. So let's go inside. I'm here in this very intimate kitchen at Dimes with chef partner Alyssa. How are you? I'm very well. Tell me a little the name. It's pretty strange, Dimes. What's Dimes. the reason? Well, we're two women, and Dimes is sort of urban slang for a perfect tent. Ah. <laughs> so we got a little cheeky with it. So today we have some marinated goat cheese with roasted wild mushrooms, finished with microgreens, a little chili oil, and some Maldon salt. We've got some shiitake. Exactly, and oyster. An oyster, beautiful. It's just extra virgin olive oil. Gives it a nice flavor. We're ready for the mushrooms. We're just gonna fry them off. Get them nice and brown crispy. Great. Now, I'm a big mushroom fan. And what type of goat's cheese is this? It's a classic goat cheese log. Yep. It's been marinated with garlic, olive oil, basil, pink peppercorn, allspice. It becomes this really creamy, delicious, sort of indulgent Indulgent, dish. yes, one of my favorite words. And yeah. decadent, <laughs> decadent is my other favorite word. Mushrooms. Oh, they smell delicious. Do a drizzle of chili oil like how much? over top. Just a good swish. Micro arugula, red amaranth for some color and crunch. And finish with a bit of malt on salt. Oh, and what a beautiful it. dish. So this is marinated goat cheese with roasted wild mushrooms and chili oil. A wonderful dish from Dimes. I have a massive icon on the show today. Boy George, I am so excited to have him here. Hello, Robert. How are you? Thank you ever so much for coming. I'm going to tell you all the secrets of dimes. But before we chat, Sabrina, let's have our salad. This is baby arugula and kale with some shaved fennel, pomegranate, gooseberries, hazelnuts, shallot, vinaigrette. Now, you eat vegetarian for how long you've been doing this? I'd say almost 30 years. Vegetarian would probably be very difficult for me. If you've what? watched any other episodes, I have. Oh, you have. <laughs> I demolished some absolutely humongous <laughs> other items that we won't talk about today. No, I saw a couple of shows and I was like, wow. Great dressing, very nutty, and I like the sweet balance. It tastes like it's doing you good. Now, you've got a few things to eat, so don't go crazy. I'll always eat. Now, I'm probably as obsessed with food as yourself, because I know Doubtful. that you love... Doubtful. <laughs> so, how many years have you been at the top of your career? If I put them all together, six or seven. Mm. <laughs> and then lots of... And there's a few ups and downs in the middle. There's a few raggedy years in the middle, yeah. But at the moment, certainly in a very good place. You look amazing. You look just like you did. I would say a lot of that is down to lots of vegetables. You know, they're really the source of energy. I'm feeling healthy just looking at these. What have we got? This one is called We Love the Whole World. Oh. It's carrot, yes. apple, pineapple, orange, lemon, ginger, and cinnamon. I love the whole world. Yes, cheers. The cinnamon in this is absolutely delicious. What a great little trick. I'm going to do that. And what you're having, Robert, is the beet, carrot, apple, lemon, and orange. Yes, the beets are very strong, very earthy. You mm. like I feel <laughs> part of part of the world. Feel connected. Yes. Rooted. Yes. <laughs> I love the whole world after drinking that, Robert. It's really good. And the cinnamon's really good for your blood sugar. You're so knowledgeable. You're obviously enjoying it because you haven't offered me any. These look. Fabulous. Marinated goat cheese with wild mushrooms. And then this is our black rice plate. Wow. So it's black rice with cucumber with Thai chili, some glazed eggplant, kale gomae, hijiki, and a grapefruit ginger ponzu sauce. Are you a fan of hujiki? Yes, it's really good. You're very it. cheeky. I try. I'm very hijiki. <laughs> I did tell you I was as obsessed with food as you are. You did, and I didn't believe you. Mm. Oh, those mushrooms are great. Mm. Mm. They really are. Oyster mushrooms are a really good protein. Yes, Doctor. Because sauce of iron and obviously goat's cheese is a protein too. I'm <laughs> having a meal with a nutritionist! <laughs> <laughs> no more boy George, it's Doctor George now. I love this dish. Sort of thing you could seduce a meat eater with. Mmm. This is a little healthy for me. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Black rice. Nice mm. combination. Very unusual. This is really good. Now, your famous band. Mm -hmm. They're back. 
They are back, yeah. The original members? The whole sick crew, as we and say. And you're back in demand. You've already done a few concerts and they've sold out. And I heard that you've recently played for Quentin Tarantino and mm. DiCaprio was there I'm, and they loved you. And Kim Kardashian. Ah, Kanye well. West. Ah. <laughs> Did they enjoy it? Allegedly so. Leonardo was uh, caught doing some ragga moves. You are a cultural icon. You are recognisable all around the world. So what type of thing do you plan on doing? There's been a real big kind of return to live shows. And that's something that we're, I think we're pretty good at. There's a yeah. new album out. Called Tribes and a single called More Than Silence. Fabulous. And, and more touring. Well, Boy George, we are honoured that you have been our guest today at Dimes. My pleasure. We wish you every success with the tour and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thanks, Boy George. Cheers.